Welcome to the latest CD versus vinyl on Amari Communications. I'm Richard Cole. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today, comparing an original vinyl pressing of the classic What Time Is It by the Time, along with a Japanese remaster. And I want to say this is my favorite band, The Time. And long-time listeners of Amari Purple Talk, you know I've been campaigning heavily to get the time into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, we've got Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis in there, so two down, five more to go. Um, but today, we're talking about this album, uh, which was released on August 25th of 1982. And the album, it peaked at number 26 on the pop charts, but number two on the R&B charts. Um, I remember when this album was getting ready to come out. Um, saved up my lunch money during high school. Went on the classic Hostess cupcake diet. You know, left the burgers and the fries alone for that week. Saved up enough money. Went down to, at the time, my favorite record store, Hudson's Embassy, to go pick up The Time. And, like I said, this has been my favorite album by The Time. Now, this isn't my original copy. Um, my original copy got lost. So, years later, as I started to rebuild my vinyl collection... Got lucky and picked up this copy. And it's pretty much the same as the one I had before. Of course, I have this in a anti-static sleeve. But also has the original. Original sleeve inside, inner sleeve inside. Check out the fellas on the back there. Now, it's, you know, back then, you know, we didn't know that Prince did the majority or if not all of the production. You know, now we know that Prince and Morris Day, you know, had a big hand in the first two time albums. Yeah, but the time definitely did their thing on stage. And even, you know, knowing what we know now, um, you know, when I listen to the Time albums now, you know, I am more and more interested in Morse Day as a drummer um, to the point to where I think he's one of my favorite drummers of all time. Um, you know, definitely like in the top five as far as drummers go. Um, and especially on this album, um, you know, Wild and Loose, um, seven 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 nine three eleven. Kind of the some of the percussive elements added on to the uh, Lynn drum program. Uh, the walk, you know, uh, just some dynamic drumming on uh, on this album. Um, but yeah, like I said, knowing what we know now about it, it doesn't take away from the time as a live ensemble. They were definitely the best definitely game changers and this album as well as the tour surrounding this album uh, if you can just check out footage on youtube or wherever you can find it by all means check it out again one of my favorite bands uh, but getting back to the cd versus vinyl uh, the japanese remaster uh, was released around 2015 and I missed out because they released everything. Um, the Time, What Time Is It, Ice Cream Castles. Um, I think even uh, Color of Success, Moore's Day Solo Album, and Daydreaming. Um, but, you know, you can only get them in Japan. And I missed out on trying to get those. And I really was looking forward to it. You know, so fast forward uh, just to about maybe a couple of years ago. Um you know, I uh, was looking forward to trying to get 
the actual Japanese remasters, but they're sold out. Um, they're hard to find and definitely not in print anywhere. Now, I did get lucky to get a physical copy of What Time Is It? And I guess if I was to get any one of the Japanese remasters, this was definitely the one to have. Um, but I do have all of the albums uh, digitally, the Japanese remasters. You know, shout out to Vault Curator. Uh, thanks for that. Um, and they sound phenomenal, uh, especially, you know, whether you're listening to them uh, through your computer headphones, whether you're just driving, listening in the ride. It's a dynamic sound uh, to which I will get into right now. So the Japanese remaster of What Time Is It? What I love about it, uh, the clear range of sound. Um, now, one of the listeners of Amari Purple Talk um, had brought up the fact that the Japanese remasters on um, anything, um, they go for a range of sound where here everything's about loudness and it's about as much bass as you can cram into you know into the mix and which in some cases is not a bad thing um, a lot of remastered things I do enjoy um, but with the Japanese remaster you get the wider range and you get to pick up the elements of sound and where the bass elements are part of the whole it's kind of like I don't know watching uh, 4k movie or something in widescreen you know something it, it has that type of range to it and that's what I enjoy about the Japanese remasters of what time is it um, the background voices uh, especially wild and loose the with the background vocals you get it they're more up to the front in the mix than any you know the original vinyl or even the original CD. Um, but yeah, the background voices and the voices during some of the skits, uh, well, wild and loose, um, you get to hear just about everything. It's balanced so well that you can hear it. I remember just owning the original vinyl and for years trying to pick up on what the conversation and what I love or what I've been able to pick up on now um is you have the time on one side and then you have the girls which was whoa <laughs> you know you had the you had the girls on the other side uh which was i think vanity or vanity six or vanity six and jill jones on the other side of the speaker and that was something i didn't pick up on until really the japanese remaster and Going back to listening to the original vinyl, I can hear it a little bit, but on the Japanese remaster, you get to hear it clear. It's up front a little bit more. In fact, it's so clear that what I was able to hear is that in that skit, it foreshadows the skit in Wild and Loose. Uh, you hear Morris... And the boys and they're talking about the groupies and everything. And they're looking at the one across the room or across the club or wherever they are. And you hear, yeah, I got something for this one to wear. Yeah, I got to get them jeans off and all that. It, you know, it's like you get this prelude. I never heard that the entire time that I've heard the original vinyl. Um, the bulk of the, you know, or the majority of that skit I was able to pick up on just over the years, you know listening to it many many times um but again listening to the japanese remaster everything is brought more to the front and you get to hear that skit both sides either side of the speaker and it kind of puts you in that setting it's like you're right there at the club you know listen you know kind of watching all this go down so that's one of the things that i love about the japanese remaster um, and again, just the little nuances, um, the instruments, primarily the drum machine sounds, maybe some of the percussive elements that are added by Morris Day. And I'm talking about on 
777-9311. Um, during the guitar solo, um, that listening experience is just enhanced by the nuances. Again, just the little percussive elements in the drum machine, uh, whatever Prince or Morris was adding, you know, with maybe live percussion in, you know, in and around that guitar solo. Oh, you know, um, again, I get into the differences between the vinyl and the CD track per track a little bit later. Um, but again, just those nuances of the drum machine sounds and percussive elements on 7779311. So for me, those are kind of the, the highlights. Um, and that quality carries through each song. So as I was listening to the CD, um, I think I've enjoyed it. You know, I had an experience from beginning to end, you know, unlike, you know, or nothing like or similar to I'm trying to get my words together here. Equal to the first time listening to it on the original vinyl. So getting to the original vinyl, um, the bass, it's heavier in tone. So the emphasis is on maybe the bass guitar more so. And what I liked about Prince albums and the time with those heavy Oberheim synths and the OB-8s. Uh, what I loved about those is those heavy, heavy bass synthesizer sounds that, you know, just amazing sound. And that's what you get um, on the vinyl is that heavy bass tone. Um, and again, like I said, it's good for the bass guitar in the sense. Um, best example would be one day I'm going to be somebody. Um, just that. There's that heavy bass in the synthesizers. Um, it's perfect on the vinyl. Um, now, it doesn't have the wide range of instruments. Um, you would have to kind of struggle to hear those percussive elements. And also, too, depending on what type of sound system you have. Um, I remember back when I had the original vinyl, uh, back in 82, I used to have this uh, Panasonic component set. And, I mean, everything sounded great on that. Um, now I got a little cheap sound design turntable component set. Uh, got it at Goodwill. Um, but, you know, it does its thing. You know, it's a good sound out of that as well. But um, maybe not quite as good as the Panasonic, but but that's just my ears. Um, but listening to this album on that system, you know, um, it is, you know, an enjoyable listening experience. Um, I don't mind playing it, you know, enjoy playing this album on that. Um, but like I said, you don't get that range of sound that you get from the Japanese remaster. Um, however, that being said, now, Gigolos Get Lonely 2 and I Don't Want to Leave You, both of those songs still sound great on the original vinyl. Um, so pound for pound, those would be my two favorite tracks as far as the vinyl goes uh, compared to the uh, Japanese CD. So now I'm going to go over each track and let you know what my thoughts are on which is the better listening experience on each one so starting with wild and loose um the wider range of sound and balance of the voices um for me the winner would be the japanese remaster on that one next we have seven 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 nine three eleven um, again, with the additional instruments uh, that are brought a lot further into the mix, uh, for me, the winner, again, is the Japanese remaster CD over the vinyl. Uh, the next track, One Day I'm Gonna Be Somebody, uh, the bass tones, uh, for me, uh, they're heavier on the vinyl. So therefore, for that one, the edge is going to go to the vinyl. 
on one day I'm going to be somebody. Uh, then we go to side two. So this one's a little tough. Um, the walk, uh, both the CD and the vinyl. Um, I enjoy, again, the wide range on the CD, um, but I love how it's mixed and mastered on the vinyl as well. So with this one, it's going to be a tie. Um, I don't know, maybe a slight edge to the Japanese CD. Again, where I've become more and more of a fan of Morris Day's drumming over the last 15, 20 some odd years. Um, the edge is to CD, but overall, it's a tie. Um, both CD and vinyl sound great on the walk. Uh, Gigolos Get Lonely 2, um, it's a definite tie for that one as well. Um, again, with the CD, the wide range, um, the vinyl, um, to me, nothing is lost uh, when you listen to it. Um, there's nothing else to listen for, not a lot of nuances to pick up. Um, and I enjoyed listening to both, so it's a tie for Gigolos Get Lonely 2. And then the last song, uh, I Don't Want to Leave You. Um, the Edge is going to go to the CD. And mainly because of the complete listening experience that I enjoyed listening to the Japanese remaster. Um, again, there's nothing really lacking on the vinyl version of it. Um, I've always enjoyed it. It's always been one of my favorite tracks on this, uh, probably wild and loose and I don't want to leave you are my absolute hands down favorites. Um, gigolos get lonely too would be the close second, the walk. Uh, let's see, take that back. Depends on what day it is. The size of the walk is seven, 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 nine, three, eleven, but other than that, and one day I'm going to be somebody, it's kind of at the bottom of the list of favorites. But like I said, when you listen to it as a whole, I enjoy listening to this album as a whole. Uh, so the absolute winner is going to go, as far as overall listening experience, the Japanese remastered CD. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and like I said, it's hard to find... Um, you might be able to still get a copy of it uh, if you go to like the Japanese Amazon. Uh, you can probably still find it. Uh, I would love to one day have the, you know, have these remastered both on vinyl and CD here in the U.S. Um, not a huge difference in the uh, CD, the original C U.S. CD. On there, uh, let's see. CD booklet, of course. Let's see, you can see that. Let's see, got Japanese translation. There, yeah, let's see. Probably not of the lyrics. Um, probably just liner notes talking about the album, because um, the lyrics. There's, if you could see it. Do, do, still in English. Yeah, but I'm glad I got a hold of this, though. This is um, the, the holy grail of time collecting here <laughs> is the Japanese remaster. And I like to hold on to this little outer little outer sleeve thing here. So, which is why I'm not even going to try to wrestle putting this back in the plastic right now do this after the show <laughs> but you know what do you guys think um, do you have a Japanese version of it or do you still have the original Warner Brothers US printed CD or actually yep this one is printed in the USA Yep, so what do you think? Um, 
you know, it's all subjective. You know, some people prefer vinyl. Some people prefer CDs. Uh, this is just my take on both the CD and the vinyl. Um, but what do you think? Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And that is going to end this installment of CD versus vinyl. Uh, remember, you can now exclusively watch this on Patreon. Uh, if you get a chance to check it out on YouTube, by all means, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified on all things. Uh, whoa. Oh, okay. Let's see. There we go. All right. So be notified on all things Amari Communications. Um, also, too, continue to become a Patreon supporter. Um, there will be exclusive content that can only be found on Patreon. So become a supporter and get in on that and all the perks that come with it, including shout outs as well and also listener questions and topic suggestions so check it out so until then oh don't forget amari purple talk um that will be on your favorite podcast platform and there will be some special episodes exclusive to patreon as well so again become a supporter and check it out uh, but until next time, create your day and create your life. Peace.